Hello and welcome to the new WISD tutorial series. My name is Rory and in this video I'm going to give you an overview of the upcoming WISD tutorial content. A little bit about myself, I'm the head of business application development here at FinSuite. I lead the team that is using Webflow and WISD to build web applications for our clients. And I've also taken over the WIS tutorial content that I'll be releasing for the foreseeable future. Previously, I was a WWX, Webflow, WIS, and Xano developer here at FinSuite. So I have spent the last year and a half in the trenches building real live web applications for our clients using Webflow and WIS. I have learned a lot and the plan is to pass that information on to you so that you can become a web app developer using Webflow and WIST. There is a new version of WIST released at the time of this video. There is a new UI and new functionality in elements. So elements have replaced actions. If you're new to WIST, don't worry about it. We'll be getting into all of these things and explaining what they are. If you're an existing user of WISD, you'll be learning how to use these new elements. So the new UI is permanently in dark mode. There is a new panel for elements on the right-hand side, pretty similar to what Webflow looks like. And in the upcoming videos, we're going to be going through all the basics of how WISD works and what all of these different parts of the WISD configurator, that's what we call the part of WIS that you log into to use to build your application, how that works and how we can use it to build web applications. So on the content calendar, we'll be starting off with a beginner series where we'll be building a chat GPT story generator using Webflow and WISD. Following on from that, the intermediate series, we'll be linking this ChatGPT story generator to a backend. If you don't know what that is, don't worry, we'll be covering it all. If you do, the plan is to cover both Airtable, Xano, and Superbase in that tutorial to get a broad range of experience with these different backend tools. And there'll also be video content covering the three of those specifically, so you can work out which is best for a particular project or use case. From there, there will be shorter videos on how to do a particular action or function in WIS. For example, if you have a login and register page, you may want users to have to verify their email. You may want users to be able to reset their password or even something like setting up two-factor authentication. We'll be covering all of that in these shorter videos. Lastly, there will be a freelancer focus series that will cover how you actually sell and build web applications using RISD for real clients out there in the real world. How to make money with it without running into hurdles or problems to make that a nice systematic process. Throughout these tutorial videos, I want to hear from you. These videos are made for you. They need to be getting you to the level of WISD experience and knowledge that you want to reach. So do comment in the videos, let me know what you think of them and what you'd like to see more content covering. Do also join our Discord community. There'll be a link to join that in the video description. You can ask questions here, you can get support here. There's also a channel in there dedicated to these tutorials where we can have longer, more in-depth conversations about them and where you can request content that you'd like to see. Other users can vote on those. And the plan is to try to do one of those a week. So on top of the beginner series over the next while, you'll also be able to request particular videos on particular topics. That's all for now. The next video is going to be an overview of what WISD is, how it works, how it compares to traditional JavaScript development. And from there, we're going to create a new project for our ChatGPT story generator. And we're going to dive right into the nitty gritty of how to build a web application using WISD. That's all for now. See you in the next video.